If there's anyone that you admire, guys, please let them know. Appreciate them while you can. Life is short. Our deepest condolences, of course, to the families of those that we lost in the helicopter crash in California on Friday. How about Wigwe, the group CEO of Access Bank, his wife, Chizoba Wigwe, and their son, Chizi Wigwe. And of course, the group chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group, Mr. Abimbola Ogumbanjo. The story is beyond heartbreaking, guys. And I've seen us mourn as a nation. Tributes have been flying left and right online. But you know what's talk with me is realizing that so many people admired this man, this woman, but never actually expressed it until they died. Guys, let's change that. If you appreciate somebody for what they do, for what they said, for a song that they sang, uh, for something they've done for you, express your gratitude, express your appreciation while you can. Because as we all can see, life is short. Every moment is a gift. Every breath that we take is a privilege. Therefore, if you ever have a prompting to appreciate somebody, please do it. Starting with the people that are closest to you. I mean, they're the ones that we take for granted the most because we believe they will always be there. The irony is some of you that are not nice to the people that are closest to you actually cannot survive without them. Some of you are not nice to your house help, but you actually need this house help. Some of you are not nice to your spouse, but you depend on this spouse for so many things. You've never actually thought about what your life would be like without them. Also, you don't have to know someone personally to appreciate them. In this age of social media, you can just appreciate somebody on your own platform. You can send them a DM. You can send them an email if it's someone that you know you can call them you can text them i feel like we do this more if someone does something wrong something that we don't agree with we will find them online we'll tag them on twitter we will express our displease but if they've also touched us in positive ways we should express that as well i couldn't help but see how so many nigerians bullied alex iwobi and the whole super eagles as a team because we didn't win like seriously we came second that's something they tried. I mean, did you not see how South Africans welcomed their own players that came third? They have our support, 100%. Every little minute that we spend celebrating them is worth it. We can do better as a nation. Let's not wait for people to be gone before we will value them. And just like many of you guys, all I can think about since this thing happened are their children, the remaining Uyghur children, the wife and the children of the Ogumba Angels. Because while the whole nation is mourning, they are passing, at some point people will move on. But guess who cannot just move on? It's the children, it's the wife. This is not a reality that has altered their lives. So guys, beyond expressing our sympathy, I really want to urge us all that from time to time, whenever these families come to your mind, please pray for them. Pray for their minds, pray for their hearts. It's not easy. Meanwhile, the board of directors of Access Holding PLC has announced the appointment of Ms. Balaji Agbede as the acting group chief executive officer of the company. Also, the National Transportation Safety Board in the U.S. has released the pictures from the scene. I'm sorry, we're not uploading that. You can search for it online. They also had a press conference about what happened, uh, giving us an update and promising an investigation that they said may last for one to two years. Once again, may their souls rest in peace. And that same weekend, guys, we also lost the fastest marathon runner in the whole world. 24-year-old Kenyan Kelvin Kiptum, the only person in history to run a marathon in under two hours and one minute. That is 26.2 miles, guys. In kilometers, that is 42.1 kilometers. It's so sad because the world just got to know about Kelvin. He literally just started his career. He used to herd livestock barefoot. In an interview, he said that he had to borrow running shoes for his first major local competition because he couldn't afford a pair of running shoes by himself. He started with half marathon in 2018. His very first marathon race was in 2022 and he won it. Imagine, first time, and he won, making him the fastest first time marathon runner in history. And then he won another one in London in 2023. Later that year, last year, he smashed the world record in Chicago, completing the 26 mile race in just two hours and 35 seconds. He was preparing for another race this coming April. 
and then he had an accident. Talk about achieving so much in such a short time. Unfortunately, Kelvin and his Rwandan coach, Gavas Hakizimana, both died in a car crash on Sunday evening. Our deepest condolences to the people of Kenya. May their souls rest in peace. Again, guys, let's not forget to appreciate people while we can because life is too short. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you're yet to, and please subscribe to my channel if you're yet to. All right, guys, it's been real, and I'm keeping it right up in here. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, I'm watching you on Plasma TV. Press the subscribe button and the bell button. Until next time, I'm gonna see you all later. Peace out.